Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna do some acrylics on my Aliana hand, which I love. I put this tip on wonky, <laughs> but I don't really care. <laughs> but if you're doing this on a real person, you have to make sure that you put your tips on properly, not like I did. Okay, so I have got my Rachel Wilder's acrylic. I've got Dreamer. Polo, these are coloured acrylics, these ones. Um, Duvet Day. What's this one? This one is iconic. Oh, it's a lovely colour, that one. Um, so over it. Buttercup. Why do you fill me up, Buttercup, baby, just to let me down? That one. And then we've got Clear Candy and Vanilla Ice. I am going to quickly show you Vanilla Ice. It's a gorgeous one. It's clear, but it's got these like gorgeous little bits of tiny i don't know if it's tiny tiny mylar or glitter i'm not sure i'm um, also using rachel wilder's premium liquid monomer and then my glitter is from the only place you should be buying glitter from nail sugar you can get 10 percent off nail sugar glitters etc using my code natmug10 bargain this is vanilla frosting this is part of the candyland collection it is only available as a collection but i tell you you will love them all so you know um these two i thought i was going to use um i actually do use this one but then i do something and you can't see it so you don't have to put this one on if you want to recreate these you don't have to put this one on but i'm going to show you anyway because it's blooming gorgeous and then also i've got diamond dust this is just an if you don't if like this is a uh, an option this is you don't have to use this one if you don't have vanilla ice uh, acrylic use this glitter instead as a replacement okay just saying right so my oh right brushes i've got this little tiny one um it's a scarlet center acrylic brush i think it's like a size eight brush and then i've got this other brush that looks very similar um i think it was a sample brush i think i'm not even sure where it came from um it's probably about a size 12 maybe a size 12 yeah um i'm gonna use them both i'm gonna use the smaller brush for the design and the larger brush for encapsulating so to start all right let me just i'm just gonna put a clear layer on the nail I can't think of what it was called then. Um, this nail is sticking too far out of the finger. I need to poke it back up. I didn't realise it was sticking out so far. Um, until, see, you can see how wonky that tip is. <laughs> the others are straight. This one's just wonky. Wonky donkey. Um, yeah, it was about here. I oh, know. Yeah, it was about here. I was like, hang on, that's sticking right out that finger. And then I thought, right, I better check the others. So I did push them all in to make them. <laughs> but this... Um, this practice hand is from alinahand.com. I'll leave the website down below and I do have a discount code for them. The code is natmug5. I think it's natmug5. It'll be on the screen anyway there with their website, but it will also be down in the description box. This particular hand I've got is a half hand. It is called Anais. It is a lifelike hand with the veins on and everything. I bloomin' love it. You can also get the tips from them as well to put in the fingers. You can get the stand and you can get the tiles to attach the stand onto. It's just amazing. So we've done our clear like base thing. I didn't actually file the where the tips met the natural nail bed. I, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but you might want to do that. Just, yeah. You might want to do that. This blue is the Dreamer one. I can't remember. Right. Okay. Just disclaimer. I don't know if that's the right word. But I haven't done acrylics for ages. Um, my application is probably not the best. Also, I do have a habit of working wet. Look at my pinky there. <laughs> I felt like the queen having a cup of tea. Like my sticking my pinky out. Um, yeah, I'm not very confident using acrylics as you can probably tell from my application <laughs> but they turned out all right in the end i think like there were things about the set that i didn't like which i will explain as i go through because uh there's some tips that i can give you that i done that you shouldn't do or you know I i'll explain anyway um 
yeah this this color right i can't remember between the purple and the, the the slightly pinkier purple but one's called so over it and one's called duvet day and they're very similar and i was just showing you there that one of them was quite similar and i didn't want to put them right next to each other so this one is that i just grabbed out is called truffle and it's a cover color so instead of putting a color on this one i thought i would put the i thought i'd do an ombre with the truffle color the truffle cover sorry uh so yeah so we've got this this nail is uh, obviously an ombre i actually like doing ombres i do like an ombre and so i've gone in with the cover color and then we've got i think it's duvet day but i'm not sure and then it's dreamer just trying to blend it down so they do blend nicely there was a i don't know there was a bit a bit in the in the acrylic oh i finished my cherry pepsi max oh i just want it yeah oh i went in with a little bit more purple as well on that one so there we go that's a three color ombre we're gonna go with and then this nail i'm gonna use some of the other colors i can't remember what this color is oh, i've just got a a message from my bishy all in sweet oh my gosh plumber and electrician what's going on what's going on question mark there we go she's probably told me what's happening <laughs> i've forgotten <laughs> right so yeah i have used the purple and then the pinker color the pinker more pi look, look, look look see look this is what i mean right how many beads of acrylic does it take for me to fill the bottom of this tip like loads <laughs> trouble is my beads were all so tiny um i'm not quite sure why they were all so tiny but the the tips on these nails are um oh by the way these tips are from sarah birchett um sarah but they're the elite coffin extreme tips i think can't remember i will have to start doing actually some shorter i love this color this is the polo color it's like a almost like a a yellowy lime like a lemony limey color and then this is buttercup but you can see they all blend really nicely together which i love because it just makes my life so much easier <laughs> Oh, I just messaged Karen from my iPad and uh, my my message. I still haven't got Wi-Fi, by the way. Still haven't got broadband. Oh, this is day four now without internet. It's a nightmare. But this will this video will be uploaded at my mum's later on today, so you should have a video for today. Uh, right, this is going to be a marble. I am absolutely rubbish at acrylic marbles. I will be the first person to tell you that. So what I'm doing is. Right, there are different ways of doing this. This clearly is not my way. I just, I don't know if it's not my way or if I just didn't like the colour combination. But I don't want to put two, like some people do like what I'm doing. They put wet beads on and then they, they sort of blend it all together. I don't think it helped that my blah, 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 blah. My, my beads were really tiny. I think they needed to be bigger. I don't know. Oh no, I just had a message from BT saying they've had to cancel my order. What is going on? I'm going to have to ring them in a minute. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. I rang BT. You didn't. You won't know this, but I rang BT and it's all sorted now. Oh, I tell you what, this is day four without internet and I, I, you just wouldn't believe how much you rely on your broadband at home. It's just utterly crazy. And then obviously you've got two children who've grown up with broadband being, a, you know, a thing. And it, it's just, it's insane. Anyway, it's all sorted, hopefully. Yeah. <sighs> Nightmare. Anyway, you're watching me do my pretty horrible marble. I don't like it. I don't like it. But it is what it is. It's done. <laughs> if you've made it this far, well done. It's been a day. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it like that. In, in a in a word this is this color is iconic i really like this one that's the name of it um iconic uh can you see you can see how wet i work i feel like i need to yeah so iconic is going to go at the bottom then i'm going to blend it up ready for the next color i 
don't do that with your finger. <laughs> what is the next colour? This is Dreamer. I don't know. Hang on, let me have a quick look at my swatches so that I can tell you the right name because otherwise it's going to bug me. So, <clears throat> um, right, so over it is the more the more the slightly more lilac -y one and duvet day is the more pinky lilac so i think i don't know i think the one that i've used on the nail now might be i think it's i think it's so over it i think this is more the the lilac -y one can you hear that car alarm outside oh, why now why now Okay, um, then over this marble, because I didn't like it, I decided to use the vanilla ice. And then I also picked up with a damp brush, a little bit of that stardust glitter. Now, um, you, yeah, yeah, that's what I done. And I'm gonna do it all the way down the nail. You can add as much or as little as you want. And then I took some of, this is the vanilla ice glitter. And I'm just picking this up with a tiny bit of wet acrylic. And I'm just going to put some little like swooshes through the marble of it. And I'm going to put a little bit more at the bottom. Like that. And then I think that's going to be enough on that nail. And then on the pinky, I'm adding the vanilla ice acrylic at the bottom. I think, can you, you can see here, like I'm going to slow it, look. You can see just gives it a really nice little kind of shimmer it's really really pretty um, but if you don't have that acrylic powder use diamond dust because that's lovely and then over the top of that i'm going in with some vanilla ice again and that i'm going to just fade it up slightly so we're doing like a bit of a glitter fade and then yeah i'm gonna leave it like that and we're gonna cap it so if you look at my look you look at my monomer it's gone cloudy where i've been using the colored acrylic personally i would replace that monomer with some fresh monomer when you come to cap the nail especially if you are using glitter because i'm encapsulating it now because i don't give a darn um, but when um, you'll see a bit later on that the nails do look slightly cloudy. Now, with Rachel Wilder's clear acrylic, it's one of the clearest acrylics I have ever used. Um, if you, um, what's the word? Yeah. So if you used if you used fresh monomer then encapsulated and then worked your way through each of your grit your different grit files like use the the harshest grit like your 1 your 100 sorry and then your 180 and then worked your way through your buffer grits um you would get a really gorgeously deliciously clear um clear nail uh, maybe not quite as clear as hard gel i don't think there's anything that's as clear as hard gel but if you're using acrylic rachel wilder's um acrylic well you'll you'll get um yeah i i think her clears and maze balls but because i'm using my dirty monomer i will get a slightly dirty nail which you will see all right i'm encapsulating clear i'm using a load of clear i always feel like i use way too much but you know there we go i do end up filing quite a lot off and I'm making such a hoo-ha. And then look, can you see in the top bit by the, the nail bed, I actually dug my one of my nails in. So I've got to put a little bit more acrylic to fill in that gap, which is a bit annoying. And then I'm going to do this on all the nails and then I will file them. And then I'm going to add some crystals. So I'm using Preciosa crystals from the Crystal Parade. You can use code NAT5 to get 5% off your crystals. Um, these are the AB round flat back precious crystals, non hot fix. I'm also using Nelchemy's Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. Right, I've got my crystal katana, and on the end of the crystal katana, I'm putting some. See, like I can pull the nail out. <laughs> don't do this on your client because it will hurt them, and they will probably take you to court. Uh, I don't know if they'll do that, but they won't be happy. They'll probably, you know, 
sue you or something. Um, we're going to put some gem glue around the cuticle area. We're just going to do some really simple crystal cuffs. And the biggest crystal is going to be in the center. And then as we go around the edge of the cuticle, we're going to make them smaller. They're going to taper off in size. That's the right word. So I'm just going to show you me doing this one because they are pretty much all the same. And I do put one too many crystals on here. So I am going to take a crystal or two off the side. Maybe it's just one. I can't remember. Yeah, just one. I just thought oh, like it's just a little bit too many. And then the Crystal Totalist Gem Glue needs to cure for a full 60 seconds in an LED lamp. Just like that. Oh, I'm going to do that on all of them I was trying to say there. <laughs> okay, so they've had a 60 second cure. I'm now going to use Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. So you will see here, I actually don't like them glossy. Can you see? I don't know if you can see very well. Why have I not sped this bit up? I don't know. Right, I'm going to push the top coat up to the crystals, but not over the crystals. Otherwise, the crystals will lose their facets, and that will mean they will lose their shine. But if you... I mean, actually, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. But it is slightly... What's the word? Slightly cloudy, but not, not terribly cloudy. Um... I actually, yeah, so I was like, right, okay, well, we'll, we'll roll with that. I'm going to do the rest of that. I wanted to show you this nail, actually, because this nail, I thought, looked a bit more cloudy than the end one. Can you see? It's just got a little, you know, it's just not quite as clear as I'd like it. And then I decided they've got to be matte top coated because I did not like the shiny. I just didn't like it. So we're going to matte top coat them. And actually, by matte top coating them, it left the, the iridescent glitter with the most amazing bokeh. Is that the right word? Bokeh effect. B-O-K-E-H. B-O-K-E-H. And it just, looked, it just looked amazing. You know, like you get in the photos. Look. Look at that. Stop it. I love it. So I was like, right, we're going to do the rest of them. And then this is what it's going to look like. Boom! You can't see the holographic silver glitter, but I, I think it looks so much better. I'm going to show you a couple of photos. So don't forget, websites and any discount codes that I have will be down below for you to go and find. Grab yourselves a bargain. I'm going to show you a couple of photos. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I've changed to an Australian. Love you lots. God bless. And I will see you all tomorrow with another video.